Happy holidays, friends. Today is the day after Thanksgiving, which is always a great day for me in the gym because I have so much fuel from yesterday. And that's the subject matter of today's video. Food is a tool. We need to flip that switch. Somewhere along the lines, we've been taught that food is bad for us and food is not bad for us. Food should be a tool that we use to help us reach our goals. So identifying that goal with me right now, do we want to lose body fat, gain muscle mass, gain strength, learn a skill? Is it a hybrid between all of those? Whatever it may be, there's a way to use food as a tool. If you've consumed a ton of food yesterday, like I just did on Thanksgiving Day, I had two dinners. I walk into the gym this morning knowing that I'm full of opportunity, right? That overconsumption of macronutrients that supply energy, and protein that's a building block of creating muscle mass, that's opportunity for me. So I walk into the gym today knowing that I can have an extra intense training session, and from that training session, I have the opportunity to create more growth and progress than I normally would because I have a surplus of food in my body and I'm using food as a tool. This is a switch that needs to be flipped for everybody. There's two reasons. Obviously, there's a physical benefit, which I just got into. Having more fuel is more opportunity to create progress, but there's also a huge emotional benefit as well. When we're looking at food negatively, and I'm gonna take a time out right now to talk about you know, an exact opportunity and situation that I saw yesterday, which was great because it reinforced this for me, but there's a lot of people out there that I'm watching them make their food choices from a negative standpoint. Right? Even if it's dessert, like, oh, I can't have dessert. And they're just like staring at the dessert, staring at the dessert, staring at the pie. And then they give in and go to the pie. Having that negative approach towards food, thinking that food is something that is bad for you. Now, I'm not preaching to consume processed carbohydrates and processed sugars and things like that. But looking at food and trying to consume less and thinking food's negative is creating this cycle for you where you're gonna to try to avoid food, but it's actually gonna create a stronger attraction to it. And then when you actually get to food, instead of using it for your benefit or using it as a tool, it's actually gonna become a detriment in your life. Flip the switch today emotionally and physically. Look at food as a tool. Look at overconsumption as opportunity to work harder and create more progress in your life and stop looking at food negatively. I promise you, if there's one food out there that you really, really want, like deep down inside, something that you want you always deny of yourself, that single food and that emotional exchange that you're having with that food can absolutely ruin your diet for years. You want something, it's not so great for you, have it. See how it makes you feel recognize the residual benefits of eating something that's not great for you, draw new conclusions based on if you really want that food or not, and proceed with positivity as food being a tool to help you reach your goals faster and stop looking at food negatively. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I Hopefully that helped you out, especially in this holiday season. Check out the next video.